with Jeff. And Colton must have been about a year old. So. And you had uh, <laughs> living in West Hills and a house or an apartment? A house. Okay. Sounds good to me. What you want to do is put that, that's right, yeah. Otherwise, what happens is your neck gets a little bit too great of an angle and begins to ache after a while. Let's see what went on there. Well, the best thing to do would be to take a nice deep breath if you can. And so you're going to be interrupted right, sort of at several different times with these things, so just bear with me. All right. Puts around with these things. All you have to do to that one is just flip it. Okay. It. Make sure I know where the where the eject is, which is right there, and there's the press. <laughs> okay, that's it. The same thing with pants. Yeah. And let's take a nice deep breath. <sighs> and have a nice feeling of relaxation kind of coming over you from the top of your head down through your, down through your, let me just pause this here for a second. I'm sorry about that. Pause. I have pause control. I'll just pause before. Okay. On top of your head down to your neck and shoulders and down to your chest and your abdomen, down to your thighs and to your lower legs, calves, and down to your feet, kind of washing back up again so you feel real pleasant, very, very good, very relaxed. And Colette, as we did on Monday, we can just kind of start to talk about various areas of your body. We can start with your feet. As we do that, you can sort of feel them relax, feel more comfortable, just as we talk about it. You can start to concentrate on your toes and your arches and your insteps. Up around to the sole, down around to the sole to your feet, into your heels and around to your ankles. So that your feet begin to feel very, very pleasant and very comfortable, very relaxed as I say that. You can feel all the muscles kind of loosening up there feeling very, very comfortable and very pleasant. A nice relaxing feeling then begins to kind of spread up into your ankles, down the front of your ankles and then around to the back of your ankles. And as I say that, you can feel all the muscles there kind of loosening up as well, feeling comfortable. As that feeling slowly spreads now into your calves, down to the front of your lower legs and your shins around to the back of your calves. You know, calf muscles loosen up now, relax. Any tension that might have been there begins to flow away, begins to sort of drain away. And you feel very comfortable and very, very pleasant. And that nice relaxing feeling begins to spread slowly into your knees, up around to the front of your knees, and then to the back of your knees. All the muscles there loosen up as well. Just feel your legs kind of pressing into the couches. Kind of relaxed, comfortable heaviness begins to spread around them. And a feeling of relax and relaxation begins to slowly spread up into your thighs. Around the front of your thighs, to the sides, and around to the backs of the thighs. You just feel all those muscles there calming down as that relaxation pervades through and feels very, very comfortable and pleasant. So your upper legs and your lower legs now begin to feel very relaxed. All the tension that might have been in those muscles drains away. All the tightness that might have been there loosens up. You just allow your legs to kind of sink into the couch. That great feeling of relaxation, comfort, and pleasantness. And a nice relaxing feeling begins to spread up into your abdomen, around your lower abdomen, to your belly button area, around into your stomach. All your stomach muscles begin to calm down now, relax. 
You feel all the tension that might have been there and tight or not of muscles you need to drain away, loosen up, flow away. So that arm feels very comfortable and very relaxed and very pleasant. And a nice relaxing feeling begins to come up into your chest. You feel all your chest muscles now relaxing and calming down. Feel all your chest muscles just very comfortable, very pleasant, and very, very relaxed. Each time that you exhale, each time that you let a breath out, you can feel your chest muscles loosening up even more. You can feel your chest just sort of sinking down, sinking into, into the couch a little bit as everything just lets go, as everything just calms down, as everything feels very, very comfortable and very relaxed. And that nice relaxing feeling begins to come into your shoulders as that feeling begins to kind of spread up to the front of your shoulders and around to the tops and any tension or tight muscles that might have been there. And it'll loosen up as well. But you feel that relaxing feeling is pervading all through your chest and your shoulders now. And that feeling begins to come down through your arms, down to the tops of your arms, down into your elbows, down to your forearms, down to your hands, and finally into your fingers. pervades your entire upper body and lower bodies. And a nice feeling of intense relaxation pervading all through you. And that feeling of relaxation begins to slowly come into your neck, around to the front of your neck, and the sides, around to the back of your neck. And once again, if there's any tight muscles there, you can just feel them letting go, calming down, it's that feeling of relaxation pervades all through your shoulders and neck. And now begins to slowly come up to the back of your head. <coughs> then around to the top of your head. Down through your forehead. Down into your cheeks. And finally into your jaw. So you're feeling very comfortable very relaxed all through your face and head and all down through your body, from your neck and shoulders and arms and chest and abdomen, down to your thighs and knees and calves and feet. And very, very relaxed and very comfortable. I'm glad I want to take you to that special place that we went to on Monday on the beach. A place just for you. A place of comfort, relaxation special private beach. Nobody is there to disturb you. Nobody is there to bother you. I'll be ten steps down to this beach. With each step that you take down, you'll find yourself becoming more and more relaxed, more and more comfortable, and feeling more and more pleasant. Take that first step now. You find yourself kind of sinking into this relaxing feeling. It's kind of allowing yourself to drift down, allowing yourself to become more involved with these feelings all through your body. Take the second step. Find that you're drifting down more and more into it. So there's movement down. And as you just let everything go, let everything go, and allow yourself to go with the flow. And the flow is down. Take the third step. Find yourself going deeper and deeper into it. Giving yourself permission to go into it. Safe and secure. It feels very pleasant and very good. You take the fourth step. Find yourself going 
more and more into it than ever before. And as you allow yourself to just sink into this wonderful, relaxing feeling, take the fifth step halfway there. Very pleasant, very relaxed, very, very comfortable. As you continue down and down, Sixth step. Now more relaxed than ever before. As you just allowed yourself to do this. You allowed yourself to go with this downward flow. Take the seventh step. The flow is even greater than before now. As you find yourself profoundly relaxed. Very, very comfortable. Take the eighth step. You're still very, very comfortable. As you find yourself going down deeper and deeper and deeper. It's a wonderful, pleasant feeling. But you allow yourself to indulge in. Take the ninth step. You now have these feelings of being completely overwhelmed, completely overtaken by these feelings of relaxation. Very, very comfortable and very relaxed. Take the tenth step now. Find me there. <coughs> Walk out onto the beach. It's a warm, beautiful, comfortable day. Feel the sand beneath your feet. Feel that warm breeze blowing around your shoulders. See the waves gently breaking against the shore. The sun is out, the sky is blue. It's a beautiful, wonderful, comforting, relaxing feeling. A feeling of great harmony, a feeling of great tranquility, a feeling of almost being able to blend into the environment because you're so relaxed and feeling so good and pleasant. in a state of relaxation. I want to take you back about three years ago when you were living in West Hills, California. This was around 1986. You were at home with Jeff. One night you found that you were reading sort of an unusual event in terms of time that Remember that night that you were telling me about before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember you go to bed? What time do you go to bed that night? Did you go to bed with Jeff or does he, he go to bed first? He goes to bed first. So when you come into the bedroom to get ready, he's already asleep or is he laying down? Get ready for bed normally, naturally, I assume. Are you wearing bathrobe or nightgown or pajamas at this time? wasn't a novel or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Now you read for a while, I assume, or, or am, I, am I wrong? Mm -hmm. 
And then you, you mentioned before that you get up to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now when you get up, is do you have a light on on the ceiling or is the light next to your bed? Next to my bed. Okay. And is the bathroom light on? Is it right in the bedroom or do you have to go down the hall? Or? It's in the bedroom, it's off the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So you get up and decide to go to the bathroom. Now, can you see yourself getting up out of bed? Yes. How are you feeling at that time? Are you okay? Is all right? Agitated. Okay. Do you see yourself going towards the bathroom? Yes. You say the light is on in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and what happens next now? I go to the bathroom. Okay. Everything is okay? Yeah, I take a week. Mm -hmm. Go back to bed. Will you reach over there and pick that book up again? Yeah. Okay. And start to read or, or not? Yeah. 
Claire, would you like me to hold your hand? No, okay. I'm looking back at, um... I'm looking back at Jeff, the one man is left behind. I see. So you're with I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm able to walk, and I'm looking back at Joe. And as I walk through the door, and they have my arms, basically, they're walking me. But you have, you can, in fact, turn your head and look back. Right. Okay. Jeff is just laying there, I see. Yeah. You walk out into the, into the hallway, or is that where they're walking? It's a short hallway that enters into the family. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you an odd question. Let me just sort of stop you in the story here. What's on your windows? Do you have any window treatment, as they say, in your bedroom? Are they just open windows, or do they have shades, or Venetian blinds, or curtains right now? I have large sliding glass windows with drapes in that they have shears, formal shears, and mm -hmm. drapes, and there's a large sky window above it. Is that with window? nothing on it. Okay, all right. There's light out there. Mm -hmm. I've seen those lights before. Okay. <clears throat> so they walk you into this little hallway, though. Is that right? Yeah, it's just a bend in the hallway, and I'm right. <laughs> They walk me through the family room. Um, it's just you turn the corner and there's doors, there's French doors walking out to the patio area, which is right outside the bedroom window. The sliding glass doors are on the patio walls. Okay. Is how are they positioned? Are they? Side or one in front or back or not to the diagonals or you get a sense of that. You said that they had your arms on them. Yeah, they just had <coughs> my shoulders that like they're what they're on my sides. I see, okay. So you walk out towards the patio. And what happens now? Somehow I see myself um, walking up the slopes behind the back of the house because mm -hmm. we live in the mountains and we're walking up the uh, like I'm walking up the slopes or something. Okay. Is this hard for you to do? No, I'm just doing it. I mean, are you stumbling in the darkness there, or no? Okay. It seems like there's light out. Mm -hmm. It's light out for some reason, but it's nighttime. Right, so it's not like you're. St it's moonlighter. It's there's just light. I guess what I'm asking is if you can feel rocks and things beneath your feet. It's <coughs> grass. It's okay. um, it's grassland. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think of that. I'm not conscious of that. All right. So you're sort of walking in these slopes. There's light out. I'm talking. Um, I see myself um, talking to them. I'm actually relaxed. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm talking per se. Are you, 
when you say talking to me? Talking through your mouth or, or communicating in some way? I'm talking. With my mouth, I think, because I feel like I'm, I am. Okay. But I'm, I'm, all, I'm, actually, I feel like I'm, started talking with my mouth and asking them what they were doing with me. And somehow I get the feeling that, that I wasn't able to talk with my mouth. Oh, I see. Like I started, I was talking and I'm going, what are you doing? Somehow I feel numb. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel anything. I don't, you know, I'm not angry. I'm not, I'm inquisitive. I'm not afraid. Right. I'm not. I'm shocked. I mean, I want to know what's going on. Well, sure. <sighs> and I feel like I'm talking to him, and then I, then I, I think I go into a hit. Um, it's like I'm either told not to talk, ask questions. I think I'm not. I'm liking it because I don't. They don't want me asking questions. Mm -hmm. It's like they're not there to do that. Right. So they're not responsive to what you're doing. Right. Asking. And then it seems like communication ends, you know. Um, I know we're getting over the hump and I can see the ship, and I can see the ship real good now. Mm -hmm. But it's, I see it not close up, I, I'm watching this as if I'm not, I'm in the sky watching this happen. I don't know why, I just, maybe I don't want to be there. Well, I don't, you know, I'm just, I just see it from a distance. Sure. But I see the ship from a distance and I can draw it. Mm -hmm. Is this a large? Thing? No, small. No, it's round though, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's angular. There's not a dome on top. It's just more oblong or something. No, it's not. It's a disc, but it's um, it's slightly domed okay. with a rim, like a rimish type, slightly elevated area, but not dome dome. It's right. um. And I don't see windows. It's um, get into this small ship? Is there, can, you, can, you, can you get a sense of seeing yourself entering it? Or, or not? <sighs> Seems like it's, it's kind of underneath but on the side. You know, like there's a, a wrap. It's not a side door, but it's not a bottom door. It's kind of on the bit on the curve. Uh, you know. Right. Yeah. What do you see when you get into this smaller object? Is it light in there? Dark? Dim? It's just dim. Are you in a large space or small space? It's 
small, very small. Mm. And there's panels, there's two of them. They've left the other one behind. going through this. Absolutely. You know? Sometimes people's consciousness is a little bit altered, but basically they know what's happening. I, you know, I just question whether I see these things and they're really happening. I, because I just doubt it. I mean, I don't, I've never seen these things, mm -hmm. but I see them, but I don't know where they come from. Because I don't see them in my everyday life. No, that's true. So you get into this thing. Where were these two guys who you were with? One's with me, and one's up at some panels. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's, it's a panel with knobs and dials and, mm. you know, um, it's a very it's medium to dark in there. It's not lit. It's just, there's a darkness about it. And there's panels uh, with knobs in there. And, um, and I'm on the floor, basically. I'm just there and there's, uh, and there's one that's with me who is constantly I'm constantly being touched, you know, just held or um, not comforted, but just <coughs> like there with him. Are you are you standing? No, I'm I'm, I'm sitting. Okay. I'm laying. I'm like you know, I'm laying sitting up. So you're reclining in a way. Right. Can you, are you reclining on a table, a couch, a bench, a chair? Or no. Or just. Sort of suspended. I'm not on a chair and I'm not on a couch. I'm I just feel like I'm laying there with kind of just kind of laying there. Okay. So he's sort of there with you. at this panel. Do you get a sense of movement or anything? Or can you tell if anything is happening in there, in other words? No. Um, no, I don't know. Sort that out afterwards. We don't have to screen it very carefully right now. Let's just see where it leads us. So you're sort of reclining in this new thing. And 
I'm just laying there. Yeah. Okay. What happens next then? <sighs> I kind of probably feel a, I feel like a burst. Mm -hmm. a, you know, like a burst, like an immediate burst. You mean you can feel gravity forces pressing down on you or something? Well, or a burst of energy? Just or? like a, an accelerated burst, like a, like a, like a burst up. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know about the g-forces or I don't know about the feeling of being weighted down, I just feel a burst or something. So it wasn't like a, when you get on an elevator when it starts to go up a little bit? Oh, no, it was much faster than that. Uh -huh. Do these guys communicate with you at all? Well, it seems like the one that's with me keeps looking at me. But he's not talking to me, mm -hmm. he's just looking at me. When he's looking at you, how close is he to you? He's real close. It's real close. <laughs> and he's just looking at me. And I, just, I can see them. And I don't want to see them! God! <laughs> He's real close. He's like this close. So you're talking about uh, 12 inches or so? Within that range, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not that close. He's close. Right. But he's not <laughs> touching foreheads, for instance. He's, well, no. He's not even, no. So he's doing, well, he's staring at you. Now, when he's looking at you, Claude, where are you looking? In his eyes. Mm -hmm. What's going on in your mind when, when he's looking at you and you're looking at him? I don't feel anything. I'm not... have thought, really, that I know of. I mean, I'm, I'm tranced out or I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not thinking of anything in particular, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's you don't get a sense that anything unusual is going on in your mind while he's staring at them. Or am I wrong? I don't know. I can't get past this right now. I can't, I just see them. Well, this is a mental procedure that I call mind scan. It's going to occur, it, no, sorry, I should say, it occurs from time to time. And it's a temporary situation. They're usually doing, you're up to something, they're doing something. You can't exactly tell for sure what it is. But let's move past this a little bit then. Now, Cohen, as you're laying there and as he's staring at you, what's happening with this other guy? point it seems like he's doing something um, off to the side with something. He's flipping knobs. Um, he's standing and I get the feeling like we're where we're supposed to be. Like we've, we're not, you know, like we're going to exit or something. Okay. And I'm um, um, picked up and I'm walked into another ship. You mean you walked out of this object, the smaller object? Yeah. Do you go down this ramp thing or the opening? No, I go through the opening. It's not a ramp though. Uh-huh. Really, it's not. I don't feel like I'm walking on a ramp. I feel like I'm climbing out. 
Okay. And I'm into another area. Yeah. I guess what I'm asking is, is there a gap between the two objects? You find yourself going outside and then inside again. Right. No, it's I'm inside of another. Oh, you're inside of another. Okay. As opposed to... I'm on inside of another right. ship. I I think I'm not and I'm not in space. I'm in another building. I'm you know, it's like mm -hmm. a cargo or something, I don't know. And when you go into this next area, you walk up into it, are you in a small space or medium size or large space? It's uh it's on a curve and it's like a parking lot. If you can imagine, it's like a curve in a tunnel, uh -huh. and and I crawl, I come out of this little thing. Right. There's an opening. I walk, you know, I'm in this parking tunnel type situation. I go through another entrance, and I'm in an actual lit situation. Right. You mean a, a room or yeah, other area. So you go through this parking tunnel type thing. Is there anything in there when you go through it, or is it just empty? Oh, no, it seems like it's on a curve. Mm -hmm. um, I get the feeling that it goes around, like it's on a round curve, and that it's, it's dark in there, and <coughs> this is where we park. And I get the feeling that there's space that goes around, you know, like there's not a, just a closed corridor, that it's a round, open hall right. that goes around, yeah. and possible, like it's a parking lot or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you go out of it, out of the small object to answer that, are these two guys with you, or do you go alone? No, they're with me. Uh -huh. You walk through, do you see anybody else there? Is there any? pedestrian traffic, so to speak. No. Okay. You turn left? Somebody's meeting me, though. Oh, sorry. And um, he's taller. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a different color uh, suit about him. What color is he wearing? He's wearing a blackish type suit. Okay. What about the, the smaller one? Yeah, but they're not. It's not. It's not so as dark as his. Mm -hmm. So would you say it's a lighter black or dark gray or something? Dark, dark black, darker than charcoal gray. Okay. I'm being sat down, and there's actually. It seems like there are other people in other humans now. Mm -hmm. I'm in another section. And I would think that there are big little screens put in front of us. I, what I feel like that I'm sitting with two other individuals and there is a screen put in front of us and this man is standing behind the screen. Okay, so by screen you don't mean something like a television screen? A little screen, but it doesn't have things behind it. It's like a, a screen. It's a little... Oh, so it blocks your view, in other words? No, it's, it's, no, it doesn't block my view. It's something we're supposed to look at. Oh, it is a, like a, a viewing screen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me get your, let me position you in your environment then. Are you in a large room? No, or I'm in a small room that's like a cubby or something. I see, okay. And there's, and there's a couple other regular type people there. Right. Are they sitting opposite you or are they sitting no, next, next to you? to me that were to look at the screen. Is this one on your right, one on your left, or both on your right, or both? They're on your right? uh, both on my right. Do you see them? I mean, do they, do they uh, make eye contact? It's a man and a woman. Uh -huh. the, the woman sit next to me, the man's next to her. Do you? Do the woman has dark hair, it's long, it's black. Uh, How does she look? Uh, what's her demeanor? 
Does she look alert on top of the situation? Does she look frightened? Does she look out of it? Does she? No, she looks like she's functioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. The man looks like he's functioning, although he looks, they look, the man looks stripped of, he looks more numb. I see. The woman looks more conscious and more, uh, almost a willing eagerness about her, like, yeah. I think she's done this before type situation. Like she, she knows what she's doing. She's uh, at, I feel like, you know, that the, I feel that about her. I don't feel that about him. I feel he's more different. He's different. Are they wearing any clothes? Yeah, they okay. were wearing clothes. So you sit there for a second, or they put you down there. What happens next? We're instructed to watch this screen. Mm -hmm. And and then he walks away. Now the three of you will be viewing one screen or Right. Okay. It seems to me like there's just one screen. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a school situation or something. You know, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not being harmed. I'm being watched or something. I mean, I don't get the feeling like like harm is going to come to me. Good. I'm relaxed more, and I feel like I've got to do this now, like I'm going to take a test or something. Uh -huh. you know, like, um, okay, you know, like, you know that feeling you're going to get, you, you know.